Welcome back to Instagram Quilt Fest here on YouTube. Um, on Instagram, remember, it is being hosted and put together by Amy's Creative Side. So if you are on Instagram, be sure to give her a follow so then you can follow along the rest of Instagram Quilt Fest this year as well as for years to come. And if you're following me on Instagram Quilt Fest and following me on Instagram, you're probably very aware that I am slacking on my posts. I started off strong and I think I got to like day four and fell off the train. So we'll see if I get a few more posts over there, but at least we're having fun here on YouTube. So today is day 17 and that is Quilts of Significance. And so uh, with that, obviously I could yet again talk about my unity quilt from the wedding until I'm blue in the face. Um, but since I did a whole video on that, I will put the link in the description below so then you can watch it and see the creation and all the good stuff that went into that quilt. Um, and so it's been put in many videos before and obviously being dropped in here, you'll get another picture of it. But I'm going to be talking about quilts that I made for very significant reasons. And unfortunately, that significant reason is death. Um, rewind to 2022, a good friend of mine, um, his mom, Patty, who was basically a saint walking on earth, um, single mom to five individuals um, with Down syndrome, the sweetest mom, the sweetest family. She ended her journey with Alzheimer's and was no longer with us. So at the funeral, I noticed that they often talked about her love for the color blue and um, and how much it was, it what all it mattered was that this was blue and that was blue and all these other things. So after a lot of thought on it and texting my husband and be like, I need you to support me on this crazy idea of mine. I decided to make four quilts for my buddy Andrew and his three siblings. Unfortunately, his older sister Sarah had passed a year prior. And so um, I made quilts for them with using the color blue and figuring out how to make it a focal and perfect memory of their mom. So for these quilts, I used the same Island Boutique layer cake. I cannot remember what it was called right now, but I will look it up and make sure it's in the description below. And so for Brandon's quilt, which he is the oldest, um, I made him the building blocks quilt. And that's one that I've done a couple other times. Uh, it's a great one for layer cakes. I felt like it was very masculine. Um, it features all the colors in there, the different shades of blue. And I pulled out a couple of the very like stark white ones from theirs and um, set them aside to be kind of cycled into the other quilts. For Bethany, I did the crush quilt and um, it's one that I've had in my um, my Dropbox folder. I bought it a while ago and I, I just thought the hearts were very welcoming and comforting. And with that, I then wanted to tie in uh, Megan's quilt later on. So we'll touch base on that one. Um, for Andrew's quilt, which was quilt number three, um, I did the cool water quilt, which is a Villa Rosa pattern that also used a layer cake. And so, um, as you can see, I'm kind of figuring out layer cakes and all of these. The crush quilt actually wasn't a layer cake. It was written for a, like a scrappy, but I used the layer cake to break down my pattern. Originally, I thought I was going to use jelly rolls, but then I kept changing my mind on some things. So the hearts in, the, in them were Kona white. For Megan's quilt, which is quilt number four, I did the blue patchwork hearts quilt. And um, I just loved it so much. It was a fun one from, I believe, Quilty Love. I want to say I will link all the patterns that I can remember in the description below so you can see where to find them. And I was lucky enough that I got to deliver these all in person. Andrew uh, was living solo. So unfortunately, I couldn't get a big group photo. But here are all the blue quilts hanging up on my parents' uh, house on their gutters because I needed a way to get four quilts all side by side and they were big quilts. So I had a lot of fun and it was very therapeutic for me to make those quilts for them and my way of kind of passing on to them this big hug um, to get an idea of the kind of mom that Patty was. I just hung out with her kids. Um, we went to the same dance studio and when Toy Story 3 came out, there was this like $100 robot Buzz Lightyear that came out and I thought it was the coolest thing. And I was like, no, I'm never gonna get this. Like it's, it's weird. It's something that a 20 something year old doesn't need. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know. She bought it for me. And so they showed up to dance class and brought me my birthday present, which was that robot Buzz Lightyear. And he lives in my sewing room. I'll show you a picture of him. So that's the kind of mom that she is. I made her this quilt um, a while ago as well, kind of a Disney one. She's a very Disney fanatic. I was glad that I could make her that quilt at the time. And since now I wouldn't have my chance to make another one. 
I'm glad I was able to get those blue quilts all for her kids. And then I had um, a good friend of mine, Leslie, um, she embroidered um, custom name tags for me. So then they know that these quilts are specially for them from me in memory of their mom. And so now 2023 came and um, I lost my dad. And so with that, we had three very significant people kind of play roles in our future. So prior to that, um, my parents had bought all the flooring for their house. They were getting rid of carpet. They had just upgraded the bathrooms. We had lived in this house since 1999, so it was time to do some changes. So they had done all the upgrades on the bathrooms. And next they were gonna take out all the carpet that had been in the house and um, change it to nice flooring. They had done the, my younger brother had done flooring in his house. My parents helped do the flooring in my house. And so it was about time that they get flooring in their house. And so, um, my dad passed before that happened, and um, the two brothers that own the hardwood floor company um, helped out, and they, my mom and my brother pulled out the carpet, and they sent their team, and they helped do all the labor and get the flooring in. My younger brother helped do flooring as well, and just get it done so that my mom wasn't living with all this flooring that was purchased, and um, and so with that, I decided that obviously I can't put in flooring or help them in any ways. And so um, I made quilts. And so that's how I know to say thank you for things. And so I made, since they were both brothers, what I did is I used the same Island Batiks Jelly Roll. You're gonna notice that Island Batiks are my go-to for um, pre-cuts. They are fantastic and well-coordinated and ready to go. So I made them two quilts, um, each of the brothers, and, and I made them each using the infinite pattern from Villa Rosa because I just really like that pattern. It's jelly roll friendly. I just need some additional yardage and the backing. So I changed the focal color on each one. So one quilt has the blue and the other one has the green. And um, and then I bound them in the same color and then their backing is the opposite. So if the blue one with the blue on the front has a green backing and the one with the green on the front has a blue backing. So those were the two quilts that I made for them. And then lastly, this was probably the most significant one. Um, my dad's coworker, Carol, um, I felt the need to make her a quilt for a few good reasons. She had been my dad's coworker for over 24 years and um, they had watched each other's kids grow up. They had gone through life events together, um, through cancer and all other sorts of chaotic things. And now we had this chaotic event to go through um, without my dad. And Carol was there the whole time. She knew before we did because she was the chaplain that showed up in my mom's driveway to tell her the news. So of all people that we needed a significant quilt for, she needed something. And so the whole year, it took the whole year to do this. Like I had this idea when it happened, obviously, but with grief and everything going on, it's just hard to focus sometimes. So with that, these all became Christmas gifts. And so for Carol, I reached out to her daughter because as our lives intertwined, my dad and I photographed her daughter's wedding. And so um, I reached out to her daughter and was like, hey, tell me, we want to give your mom something for just being there the whole way, for all the court, for being there since day one, coming to the court hearings and proceedings and town hall events and everything like that. And so what can we do to thank your mom. Um, what colors does she like? And she's like, she decorates and beach themed. She loves turquoise, teals, everything. And I was like, all right, we got it. So that fat quarter bundle that I showed you on my shelf the other way from my guilty pleasure shelf, that was actually a fat quarter bundle that I had originally purchased. I had an idea for the quilt, um, but then we got some Eileen Batik pre-cuts in and I needed them to be 10 inch squares anyways, instead of fat quarters. So it was meant to be. So I used the tantalizing teal layer cake paired with some yardage to do the layer cake dash quilt from, from Quilty Love. And when I quilted it, I kind of gave it some like beachy waves. And um, we were able to also deliver these three quilts in person. And um, it meant a lot to all of us. And I had Leslie once again, um, we were looking for sayings that were significant, but not like it was your grandpa's shirts or that kind of thing. So we wanted something special um, to put on labels for these three people because 
the life that they lived with my dad and they were just as significant to him in their ways as they were to us. So um, we are very grateful for them and it didn't mean for this video to be such a bummer. Um, I do have some other plans for some other quilts of significance coming up. In the meantime, speaking of significance, as you remember, the shadow play quilt is made of fabric from my sister's wedding quilt. So let's perk this thing up and uh, go ahead and get that quilted today. So here's a peek at the front and then a peek at those navy blue roses in the back. I think it looks so good. So then we'll be back real soon to put the binding on this and check it off the list. Mm -hmm. 